Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it is good to see you today and to visit with you for this short time. Back in 2015, I really enjoyed the message of the movie uh, War Room. Miss Clara advocated that we should all establish a war room, a battle plan for our family, and it has to begin with ourselves. So today I want to think a little bit about prayer, how our prayer life is, and offer you some very simple practices that I hope will strengthen your own prayer life. Uh, using the movie as the basis for our thoughts and some very simple scripture lessons, let's just think about this idea of prayer together. Number one, establish your war room. The idea is based on Matthew 6.6 6 that says, but whenever you go, whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father. Studies in my own personal experience tells us that we will be most successful if we can find the same time and the same place every day to make this happen. It should be away from distractions. And yes, please silence your phone or leave your phone in another room so you can really focus on this time with God. Let your family know that this is your quiet time. And let this time with your Lord just be between, be between you and him. And by your example, you will establish the importance of prayer in your life and set it for others around you. Secondly, ground your plan in God's word. Search the Bible for verses that really speak to you. Write them down in your journal or like Ms. Clara, place them on the wall. Search for God's promises and build upon them as your understanding of scriptures increase. As an example, the scripture from Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Ground this time of prayer in God's word. And third, find a prayer partner. Maybe it might be a neighbor a friend, or even a grown child, and then start this journey together. I also suggest keeping a list. It will help you see and remember how God has answered your prayer. But having a partner will build in some accountability, and it will give you someone to share your insights with and to offer encouragement to one another. As the war room reminds us, prayer is a powerful weapon. Let's make sure we are regularly entering into our war room and taking time to talk with God. I have several reminders about some things that are happening here in the life of Wesley Church. Uh, Wesley will have a table at the National Night Out um, this Tuesday, October 6th, from 6 to 9 at the Marysville Fire Company. Uh, Amy is looking for volunteers to pass out coloring books and provide crafts for kids and families. If you're able to help, contact Amy uh, and then certainly encourage you to stop by and support our local law enforcement and take this opportunity to build community. Also, this Sunday is World Communion Sunday. Um, if you're going to be watching online, you can stop by the office today between 10 and 2 to pick up your elements for Sunday service if you haven't already. We have a new uh, way of supporting our students, and uh, we're suggesting that we could uh, care for them and encourage them through writing a card or note. If you'd like to be a part of this ministry, please contact Martiel or Deb so they can match you up with one of our students. My friends, a note can have a big impact. Our Bible studies continue on uh, Sunday evenings at 6 and Tuesday mornings at 1030. Of course, our COVID safety protocols continue. Please RSVP when you plan to attend in person, wear a mask, and know it's perfectly uh, fine to continue to watch us on Facebook or YouTube when we live stream every Sunday at 9 a.m. And Jeff continues to have a Sunday school class following worship uh, in the fellowship hall at 10 a.m. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with us. I hope these uh, words of prayer uh, on prayer today will help improve your prayer life. And these announcements will just keep you aware of what's happening in the life of Wesley Church. 
Let's close our time with a word of prayer. Will you pray with me? Loving God, we thank you that we have the privilege to enter into your presence to bring our praise and our request before you. Help us to be mindful and diligent in taking time to talk with you each and every day. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Please stay strong and stay safe.